Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition with Culture with Reno Z. This is your fellow Paisano in the house. And we're going to cover a little bit of some Juventus news. It's some of my thoughts about Juventus, which I will explain why. Before anything, guys, put a like and subscribe. Please share the content and leave these comments down below. Because I want to see these likes and subscriptions. Boom, 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 bing, bing, bing. bing. And comments going to go... So I can chat with you and see what your lovely thoughts, what I have to say. Before I get into some Juventus news, I got some things to say about this lovely Juventus. I've been hearing a lot of chit chat, a lot of things, you know. This is the way I look at it. Nobody's getting mad that we're winning whatsoever. It is how we win. You know me, I... Uh, you know, I don't like this style of soccer. If you guys like this uh, Allegri style, the Corto Muso, hey, that's fine to you. But don't sit to push me around and keep on telling me what I need to do or what not need to do. I cheer for Juventus. Punto e basta. Okay? I'm not sitting here. Uh, it's been a while I haven't done videos. Allegri, Allegri. For me, Allegri, I don't like there is credit. Yes, he is improving for second place. But the question I would like to ask you guys, you guys are so convinced with this style, because we're playing only uh, Serie A at this moment, okay? And we have a big game coming, which I'll explain while it was going on during the my Juventus news talk. Just one sec. You know, what if, guys, listen, what if, for now, it is a little bit better than last year. Okay, until now. But what if we start losing again? You know, like the big loss to what happened with Napoli and all this kind of stuff. Then what? We win the Scudetto. Okay, we keep this guy for another year. Then we're going to play like Kaka with this 1-0. You think we can manage to win like this at the Champions League? Come on, guys. I'm sick of tired with this old school mentality, playing safe, uh, keep on giving the major credit to this guy. We know, we all know that the middle field is a caca. I, I totally understand that in the players itself. But don't sit there and tell me, I'm not saying if Conte comes up, boom, everything is going to be fixed. No. You guys are hoping uh, that we're getting middle fielders or something. I doubt it. Because what I'm hearing right now, uh, okay, the news uh, start out with Fagioli till 2028, which for me it's uh, porcaria because, uh, yes, you renew the kid, but you're renewing till 2028, you're gonna still giving more money. He's probably going to bet more, probably uh, take off more debts on Juventus. Okay, uh, rumors with Elin, we have one of the great players and he's sitting on the bench. Maybe with the swap deal with uh, Hoisin. And then uh, names coming along. Uh, you know, about, about Berardi. But not, nothing in conclusion. There's still talks with Rabiot's mom to renew this guy. That was one of the big mistakes they did to renew Rabiot. Yes, he did a wonderful season this last year. But this year, so far, he, he <laughs> probably a la porqueria. But guys, we gotta be realistic here, and we have to stop being over defensive on this guy. Okay, you people are convinced that this guy's gonna say, "Well, like it or not, for me, this guy's not gonna say it's gonna be his last year." Even through my sources, the chances are Conte it might come because that's the one of the main names that he's obsessed to come to Juventus, and we'll see what happens. I know the good part is we have Junto. He's playing things sneaky because apparently he wants Conte so he can bring the, the young players, whoever they want to bring in in January or uh, in the summer, and we can regroup the thing. I'm not a big fan of having Conte back because you know me. Me necessarily scared that they know. But this is the true facts of reality. I Could I be wrong? Sure. You guys can call Manti, text me. And if I ever see you, hey, I, I, I'll pay you dinner. Like, what do you want me to tell you? But if I'm right, then you guys pay me dinner. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Because 
we are in a bad situation because going to Juventus news, I just found out that Mirate is injured. He won't be playing at the national team. And uh, chances are he won't be uh, at the Inter game. Rumors about Locatelli. He won't be at the national team. And he won't be pretty much at the Inter game. And that's number two. Which Locatelli, he's one of the main guys right now. You know, he's put green thing, and this is what happens. Abala. Then who else? Well, yeah, we, we're not too sure. We're going to see next week, but that slightly chance, you know, that Daniel's still injured. Maybe Alexandro might be, you know, because instead of a look at it, there's a new Nicoruzzi Cavalli. But is he going to put him? He has. He only played the last minutes at Cairo. If I remember, a Los Angeles, uh, uh, the friendly game. Because he's going to do this experiment, Mr. Allegri, putting Rabiot as a defender, playing all the fans that we only got pretty good that Inter doesn't score. Because I'm telling you, I don't know about you, for me, we're not going to go through with Inter. I even told him my Interisti, and you know, he, he's not too convinced too, because pretty much we're both in the same position, but Inter pretty much is scoring. Us, that one, zero, you know, Pretty much, we can uh, start a chance to score. Maybe like to score two goals. But I haven't seen a beautiful performance since Lazio. Don't you think? So these are my uh, thoughts, guys. Uh, I just like to bring it out there because I'm pretty much fed up, man. I love my team whatsoever, but don't tell me what to do. Because he patentino that tifoso, no me lo da nessuno. The license of being a fan, nobody gives it to me. I stick with my guns, and this is what, what it's going to be. Okay? If there's quite to do, like I said, for now, he's on the right. But then, we have to wait and see. So, leave your comments down the, below. Put a like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll talk to you a lot soon. Fina la fine, forza Juve, from your fellow pilots and the main man himself. Mr. Reno Zaurin in the house. And I'll talk to you, lovebirds, soon. Ciao, ciao. E arrivederci.